Hi guys, I'm Ruby and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Book Creator. We're going to be covering how to sign in, how to copy a book and how to make your own book. Okay, so you'll need to go to app.bookcreator.com and make sure you are on student sign in and not teacher sign in. So I have a Google account, so I'm going to sign in with Google. But you can also sign in with Office 365, a QR code or with Clever. Okay, so select your account. Okay, once you've signed in, you will need to enter the library code that you will have received from your teacher. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is copy a book. So as you can see, my teacher has left me a book to work on. So I'm gonna press on the library icon down here. I'm going to press copy book and choose the library I want to copy the book to. So now I have this book in my library for me to work on. So I can now click on this book and edit it. So we've shown you how to sign in and we've shown you how to copy your book. And now we're gonna show you how to make your very own book. So press the new book button up here. We can choose either a normal book or a comic book and you have portrait, square or landscape. I'm going to choose a square comic book. Okay, so you'll have the cover and then you have the pages inside your book. You're only given three pages at the start, but you can add as many as you like. So press the plus button to add a new page. So now I've got four pages, five pages. And you can also go up to the pages button to see all your different pages. Okay, so if we go back to the cover, there's lots of stuff we can do. So if we press on the little plus icon at the top, we've got media, comics, and shapes. So if we press on media, we can add some text. So let's say this was a book about me. I could say, hi, my name is Ruby. Press the done button. And now you can drag this text wherever you want. Let's say we want it in the middle. Okay, if you press the I icon, you can alter lots of things with the text. So you can change the font size. So I'm gonna put that around, let's say 60. You can change if it's to the side, centered to the other side or perfectly straight. I'm going to go for centered. You can make it bold, italic, or underlined. So I'll go underlined. Okay, one of my favorite parts is that you can change the font, and there are so many different fonts to choose from. I'm going to go this one. Okay, you can also change the color. You have a few selected colors, or you can choose your own color out of this rainbow block. So I'm going to choose a light yellow so you press apply and that applies the color to your text okay we can now resize uh, re redo the length of this so let's say i wanted it like that and then i can put that in the center okay now i'm going to show you how to add your own photo so go back onto the plus icon press media and press camera okay cheese you can take your own photo and if you don't like it then you can always redo it okay so now I have this photo I can make it smaller or bigger I'm gonna make it smaller and I'm going to put it just here right above my name okay so now I've got a photo of me and I've got my name so if you press on the plus icon you can also import any photos so media then press import so this is a Google image search, you can type in whatever you want. Let's say I wanted a picture of kittens. So I would type in kittens, kittens, and then search that. As you can see, loads of pictures of kittens have come up. So I can scroll and choose one that I want. Let's say I want this one, you press it and then you press select. Okay, so now that photo is on my book, so I can resize it. Let's say I wanted to make it smaller or bigger. Okay, so now I can show you how to get an emoji 
Everyone loves emojis and it's really fun how you can add them to your book. So press on the plus icon again, select media and go down to pen. So press on the emoji button and then you can scroll and you have a whole huge selection of emojis to choose from. I'm going to choose this emoji. Okay, perfect. And even if you can't, don't want to resize it now, you can always resize it after. So press the done button. Okay, now I have this emoji. I can place that on my face. <laughs> okay, I've got a few more things to show you. The first thing is, you can add really cool backgrounds to your cover and any of the other pages. So um, press the I button. You can select any of these comic backgrounds or colors or patterns or textures. Um, I'm gonna choose textures. So I can add any of these textures here. They're all really cool. Um, uh, I'm going to choose wooden. Okay, so now you can see that's been added to the cover of my book. Okay, so one of the last few things I'm gonna show you is you can add a bunch of really cool stickers. So press on the plus button, select stickers, and you have a ton of stickers to choose from. I'm gonna go this one. You can also resize these stickers. I'm gonna make it that. And you can turn them around if you want to. I'm gonna that. Okay, so the final thing is after you're done with your book, press the play button and you can go through all of your pages by pressing on the arrow icon. Thanks for watching and I hope I've helped you understand how Book Creator works. <laughs>